In the gospel text of today, we will read what is known as a pronouncement story. In a pronouncement story, there might be a miracle or there might not be a miracle. In this pronouncement story, there is a miracle. And in the pronouncement story, despite the fact that the miracle is inserted, the focus is on the pronouncement of Jesus within the story. And so, what is this miracle story and what is the pronouncement? Jesus is preaching to the people about the love of God. And because people are so anxious to receive that love. They are hanging on to his lips. They have gathered around the place where he is so no one can come in. There is such a large crowd. And there are four men, the friends of a paralytic. They do not know how to get in because there is no way. But where there is a will, there is a way. Some will say tongue-in-cheek. Where there is a will, there are always relatives. But that is not so relative now. What is relative now is that where there is a will, there will be a way. And these men have the will and have the faith, as we shall see in a few moments. So what do they do? They do not give up. They are not men who are going to give up so easily because they see the crowd, because it is an obstacle, because it is a hindrance or an impediment. They overcome that impediment by going on the roof. They use novelty. They use innovation. They use creativity to climb the roof open the tiles and to let the paralyzed man down on a stretcher. We are not really told whether the paralyzed man had faith himself, but we are clearly told that the friends of the paralytic had faith because when we are told, Jesus saw their faith. They might refer to the four friends and the paralytic, but surely refers to the four friends who let him down. And one might imagine that as soon as Jesus sees their faith, he should heal this man. He should make him whole. But Jesus does not do that. What Jesus does instead is, my son, he says to him, your sins are forgiven. Is the forgiveness of sin greater than the healing of the man? Is the spiritual healing greater than the physical healing? It is. Even today, 2000 years after Jesus, almost any doctor worth his or her salt will say that the larger majority of our ailments are psychosomatic. And this word psychosomatic comes from two Greek words, C-U-K, which is the mind or the heart or what goes on within, and soma, the body, the external. So when the C-U-K, that is when my internal is affected and filled with negatives like anger, like resentment, like unforgiveness, like bitterness, like revenge, then it is automatic that my soma, my body, will also be affected. So ailments like fistula and piles and stress diabetes and hypertension and heart attacks and even to a large extent cancer, could be psychosomatic because I am harboring in my heart feelings of revenge and anger and jealousy and bitterness and unforgiveness. 
And that is why Jesus goes to the root of this man's problem. Not that Jesus is saying that there is a connection between sickness and sin. No, he wants to heal the man completely. And so he begins the complete healing by healing the man's heart. Because Jesus knows that if he heals the heart, the body can be healed easily. Jesus knows that if the inside of a person is clean, the external will also be clean. And that is why he tells the man, my son, your sins are forgiven. There are those who are standing around who cannot accept these words of Jesus and they accuse Jesus of being a blasphemer because according to them, no one can forgive sins except God, which is true. But then, they do not realize. They are unable to see. They have paralyzed their hearts. They have got this negativity in their hearts. They have this lack of openness in their hearts, which does not allow them to be healed, which does not allow them to see, which allows them only to be vindictive, only to be jealous, only to be negative. And Jesus is aware of that. And the pronouncement now is in these words of Jesus, namely, Jesus is the Son of Man who has authority on earth to forgive sin. And Jesus shows this authority now by telling the paralytic and issuing him three commands, rise, take up your mat and walk. And the fact that Jesus does have that authority is indicated by the man rising from his paralysis, taking up the mat on which he lay and walking out before them all. Healing is not merely external healing. As a matter of fact, if the healing takes place within, external healing becomes easier. Our God in Jesus is a God who is revealed very specifically in the gospel of today as one who forgives sins. As a matter of fact, the name Jesus means God saves. He has come to save us from that negativity which we keep harboring, from that resentment which continues to remain in our hearts, from those inadequacies as a result of that negativity and resentment. If we hear the Lord tell us, my son, my daughter, your sins are forgiven, we also, like the paralyzed man, will rise, take up our mat and walk. Will you hear the words of Jesus to ask you to forgive, to ask you to love, to ask you to remove all the negatives from your heart?